तो वेलकम टू द शांति पीस फॉर मैथमेटिक्स इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज माई डी यू हैव लर्न अबाउट द वट इज द कॉन्जुकेट ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर एंड द ट्राइंगल इन इक्वालिटीज सो इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पोलर फॉर्म ऑफ अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सो अ पोलर फॉर्म इज एक्चुअली अ रिलेशन बिटवीन अ कार्टिजन कोडिनेट्स एंड द पोलर कोडिनेट्स दैट यू हैव लर्न इन योर Uh, school level so uh, let us recall that concept so you know that the x uh, y are the cartesian coordinates of the point is given in two dimension then that's relate to the r and theta that are the polar coordinates that you have the relation between them is you know that it is x is equal to r cos theta y equal to r sin theta and geometrically if you can see that if this is the point xy this distance is x this one is y and this distance is r which is the distance from origin to this point xy and this angle is theta that's the angle of the this vector uh, with the positive x axis if you have any complex number z z is equal to x plus i y if you have any complex number that complex number due to this uh, polar coordinates we can rewrite as r cos theta plus i r sin theta if you common out r from this you may write this is as r into cos theta plus i sin theta now what is r that you know the relation between them you know that is r is nothing but the if you know this relation then it is r is the square root of x square plus y square and you know that the x square plus y square related to the complex number we denoted as a modulus of z so r is nothing but the modulus and which is the unique positive number why i am saying it is unique positive number whenever the number z is non zero then and only then we can talk about its polar coordinate otherwise we cannot for zero the polar coordinates will actually the theta is undefined and what will be the value of theta you know that it is tan inverse of y by x and this value is actually is a multi valued function measured in radian that we can see in in the figure see in the figure we probably know this that this vector is r and the length of this vector is the r which is the which is the z is equal to x plus i y and you know that the theta is measure from Uh, positive x axis so either you can measure the theta from here which is this value you can measure and also you can measure from uh this value plus you can make a round one round so that will be theta plus 2 pi you will have so and the theta plus 4 pi is also measured as a theta so that's why the theta is the actually a multi valued function which is measured in the radian so by doing this let us have an example convert the complex number 1 minus i root 3 into polar form so if you want to convert this is into the polar form first of all you should note where where this uh, point is lies is your x axis this will be your y axis and you can see that if i consider as x is equal to 1 and y equal to minus root 3 by comparing this equa this uh, number with x plus i y that means x is positive and y is negative so you probably know this is x positive y positive here this is x negative y positive here y x negative y is also negative here x positive and y is negative so according to this this point is lies in the fourth quadrant because x is positive y is negative so first we should note the number 1 minus i root 3 lies in the fourth quadrant 
so by taking this x is equal to 1 and y equal to 3 and if I compare x is equal to r cos theta so that will be gives me 1 and r sin theta will gives me minus root 3 so what I am doing is I am just taking a square of this equation and square of this equation and add them what we'll have is r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta will be 1 square plus minus root 3 square that will be 1 plus 3 that is 4 so we'll have r square is 4 and you know that r is always a positive number so that's why r is 2 by taking a square root both sides and what is the theta you have you know that this now from this r cos theta is 1 and r sin theta is minus root 3 so from this you will have cos theta will be minus sorry 1 by 2 and sin theta will be minus root 3 by 2 so due to this x uh, cos theta is 1 by 2 and sin theta is minus 1 by root 3 x uh, positive and y negative your theta will become minus pi by 3 because you are here in this quadrant so so we are measuring this angle which is theta is equal to minus pi by 3 so obviously you can measure this angle also so that is um, 2 pi minus pi by 3 that's also you can write 2 pi minus pi by 3 that's you can also measure that so it is 5 pi by 3 you can write as so it is the same angle that you have so therefore 1 minus i root 3 we can write as r into cos theta plus i sin theta that can be written as 2 into cos minus pi by 3 plus i sin minus pi by 3 so and this theta will take the any value so that's theta also i can write as i already explained you if you make one round that will be theta plus 2 pi uh, so it is in general 2 and pi where n belongs to z so therefore 1 minus i root 3 is also uh, written as 2 into cos pi by 3 plus 2 and pi plus i sin pi by 3 plus 2 and pi for n belongs to z that we can have so in particular if you have the n is equal to 1 so that 1 minus root 3 pi you can write as uh, it will be cos if it is 1 here then it is in a 6 minus so it is 5 pi by 6 plus i sin 5 pi by 6 so this number 1 minus root 3 i is can be written in the different way in this form that is cos theta plus i sin theta because there are infinitely many values of z you have let's take another example the same convert the complex number minus 1 plus i into polar form so here first you should note where is this point is lies so again we make this this is one uh, x positive y positive um, x negative y positive both are negative here you have x positive and y is negative so here if you compare this number with x plus i y so if you have consider x is minus 1 and y is 1 that means x is negative and y is positive that is in second quadrant so this point is lies in the second quadrant since this point is lies in second quadrant also we can have the comparing x is with r cos theta and y is r sin theta and making a square of this equation and square of this equation and add them you will have r square is equal to minus 1 square plus 1 square that is 2 so that this will implies r will be root 2 so r is root 2 and so you will have cos theta will be minus 1 by root 2 and sin theta will be 1 by root 2 so you have just so just observe that the tan theta that you have here will be uh, sin theta upon cos theta that you know that will be minus 1 so theta will be tan inverse of minus 1 
so that is minus of tan inverse of 1 you will have see first you should note here this minus of tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4 so this will be minus pi by 4 but if you can write this is as minus pi by 4 then that will be wrong because this minus pi by 4 is lies in the fourth quadrant but actually your point is lies in second quadrant so you can you should not write that is as a minus pi by 4 but this is in second quadrant and so therefore your cos is so it is actually this vector is there so and this so this is the pi by 2 you will have and this quantity is pi by 4 so that's why it is theta will be pi by 2 plus pi by 4 and that will give me 3 pi by 4 so that is the value of theta you have so therefore the minus 1 plus i we can write as a root 2 into cos 3 pi by 4 plus 2 and pi plus i sine 3 pi by 4 plus 2 and pi for any n belongs to z. So, with the this two example, we will have some remarks here, very important remarks are there. The first one is the, the positive number r is length of the vector representing z. So, that is the first things we can write that you know that if it is x y coordinate if this is z that is a vector so the length of uh, this vector is called as a modulus or it is an r so that is actually mod of r is equal to z the second remark that we can write is the theta the number theta it's called the there is name of this it's called the an argument or amplitude of a z so it is amplitude of a z or it is an argument and the it is denoted as a r g of z so a r g of z is nothing but the theta and geometrically if we can say this will be your theta and it will take the multi values so it is a multi valued function measured in radian and it is also known as a radius vector so it is also represented as radius vector the argument of z can be calculated as uh, tan theta will be y by x that you know but when you are using this formula you should mention where is your uh, point is point is lies in which quadrant because if it is second quadrant fourth quadrant first quadrant and third quadrant have the same uh, tan theta value is so whenever you are calculating the converting the number into the polar coordinates make sure that the point is lies in the uh, which quadrant and according to that you can decide your theta the third things we can write is if uh, z is non-zero so that means for non-zero a uh, number we can write we can have z is equal to r cos theta plus 2 and pi plus i sin theta plus 2 n pi for any z belongs to z and what is th r is that r is the modulus of z and theta is the argument of z in that sense so that we can write if uh, theta is equal to 0 then the theta undefined so for if the complex number is 0 then you cannot define you cannot define a uh, argument of that number because any complex number which is is written in the polar form understood that the no, it is non-zero even when that condition is not explicitly stated so that is the things we have the next things that we can have is a principal argument the principal argument of argument of z denoted by a r g of z so it's denoted by this and it is defined as a unique value of argument of z such that minus pi is less than argument of z is less than or equal to pi so this argument of z is a unique value and it is lies in this interval so argument of z 
is always lies in this open interval minus pi to closed interval pi always lies in that and it is always a unique value it is not verb change so that's why it is called principal so for example in the previous two example that we have discussed for 1 minus i root 3 the principal argument of if z1 is this the principal argument of this z1 that we have minus pi by 3 and z2 we we have discussed the example minus 1 plus or minus i and for that the principal argument that we have written is 3 pi by 4 so that are the principal argument there are many arguments are there because when you add 2 pi into here that makes a uh, argument but but uh, this is the principal argument you have so what is the relation you will have the uh, between the argument and the principal argument is the argument of z you may write as principal argument of z plus 2n pi where n belongs to z so this is the relation between the argument of z and the principal argument of z now uh, how to calculate the this argument of z in particular ok so because uh, uh, whenever it is x positive y negative you have certain things to remember so if your x is negative so first one when z is negative real number negative real number means uh, it has no imaginary part and your x if it is of the form x plus i y is 0 and x is a negative number then argument of z in this case will be pi so that means what we are talking about if z is a negative real number that means it is lies here so it is somewhere here on this line so that's why we have this angle pi that is the principal argument of z is pi the another things that we have is argument of z will be if your x is positive if x is positive that means it is lies in this side in this uh, half plane so in that case you just calculate what is tan inverse of y by x that will be your principal argument if x is negative and y is non-negative that means x is negative that means this and y is non-negative that means it is in second quadrant here in the second quadrant you have so if this is the point then the tan inverse of y by x plus pi if x is negative and y is also negative that means it is in third quadrant in this quadrant then it is tan inverse of y by x minus pi so this is the things we have that means x is positive then it is just tan inverse of y by x if x is negative and y is non-negative then it is pi plus tan inverse of y by x if x is negative y is also negative so it is tan inverse of x minus pi and if uh, when uh, y by x is equal to infinity that means your x is 0 then you will have a 2 case it may have the two value pi by 2 or minus pi by 2 so when it is a pi by 2 if uh, your x is 0 and y is positive obviously x is 0 and y is negative then you will have the minus pi by 2 value so for example now I am taking as an example now so I am taking four points first one is 1 plus i second point is 1 minus i third point I am taking is minus 1 plus i and fourth point I am taking as minus 1 minus i so you can observe here in all the cases you observe that x is 1 here y is 1 so r is root 2 and theta that is tan inverse of y by x that you need to measure since x is positive and y is positive this is in first quadrant so if x is positive we also men we already mentioned here that if x is positive 
then it is just tan inverse of y by x then it is just tan inverse of y by x so it is x positive so that's why it is tan inverse of 1 and that is pi by 4 now here x is positive and y is negative so r is root 2 so what is your theta here the theta it is tan inverse of minus 1 upon 1 you will have minus 1 tan inverse of 1 you will have so it is minus pi by 4 because your x is positive in this case also you can say that it is 1 so that's why it is minus 1 and so this is in actually of this is this point it is in first quadrant this point is in fourth quadrant because x positive y negative this point is in second quadrant so here x is negative and y is positive so obviously r is 2 and what will be the theta is tan inverse of minus 1 upon 1 so it is again minus of tan inverse of 1 so we should not write as minus pi by 4 because if you can write minus pi by 4 this point this will this points is uh, drop down in the fourth quadrant but this point is not in the fourth quadrant it is actually in the second quadrant so according to that this will have to be this formula that is uh, we have just seen that it is a uh, uh, tan inverse of y by x plus pi it is actually a minus pi by 4 here plus you should add pi due to x negative and y positive so that's why this is 3 pi by 4 you will have and that 3 pi by 4 you know that it is lies in the second quadrant now here x is negative and y is also negative r is root 2 that we know theta will be tan inverse of minus 1 upon 1 and that is tan inverse of 1 so again you cannot write this is just pi by 4 because if you are calculating the principal argument it will not be a uh, pi by 4 because this point is lies in third quadrant so this point is lies in third quadrant so that's why this is pi by 4 minus pi so according to this rule that is x negative y negative so it is tan inverse of y by x minus pi by 4 so that's why this will be gives you minus 3 pi by 4 so this is the way you should calculate the principal argument of a given number so now the question is if y is, is that is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta then what will be the z bar obviously z bar will be r cos theta minus i sin theta that is the things we'll have now next property that we like to discuss here that is let z1 and z2 are non-zero complex numbers then prove that argument of z1 into z2 equal to argument of z1 plus argument of z2 so to prove this we can write as z1 equal to r1 cos theta let us assume plus i sin theta 1 z2 will be r2 cos theta 2 plus i sin theta 2 now if I proceed with this I am just denoting as z1 into z2 and I am multiplying them so we will have r1 into r2 if you multiply this to quantity if you multiply this cos theta 1 with cos theta 2 you will have cos theta 1 into cos theta 2 when you multiply i sin theta 1 with i sin theta 2 you will have i square and that i square will become minus 1 so it is minus sin theta 1 into sin theta 2 plus i when this cos theta will multiply to i sin theta and I am taking common out i so cos theta 1 into sin theta 2 plus if I multiply this sin theta 1 with the cos theta so it will be have sin theta 1 into cos theta 2 so what you will have is this is equal to r1 into r2 
cos theta 1 plus theta 2 plus i sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2 because this is the formula of cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta it is equal to cos alpha plus beta and this is the formula of cos alpha sin beta plus sin alpha cos beta that is the formula for sin alpha plus beta so due to that we can write this so from that just uh, so argument of z1 plus z2 will be theta 1 plus theta 2 that uh, need to see that the first thing we should note here theta 1 and theta 2 can be any value of argument of z1 and argument of z2 respectively so it will take any value between this and it is clear from this that uh, theta 1 plus theta 2 is the value of argument of z1 into so that is the things we have second on the other hand argument of z1 z2 and argument of z2 are specified that means argument of z1 into z2 will be theta 1 plus theta 2 plus 2 n pi where n belongs to z and argument of uh, z1 if i consider as theta 1 plus 2 n 1 pi where n 1 belongs to z for some another n so then theta 1 plus theta 2 plus 2 n pi is equal to theta 1 plus 2 n 1 pi plus theta 2 plus 2 into n minus n 1 pi this result is true provided we choose argument of z2 as theta 2 plus 2 into n minus n 1 pi similarly if argument of z1 into z2 and argument of z2 are specified then argument of z1 can be chosen to main maintain the equality of the argument of z1 into z2 equal to argument of z1 plus argument of z2 so that proves that the argument of z1 into z2 equal to argument of z1 plus argument of z2 so we should note that here this arguments function is a multi-valued function so that's why this equality is true now with the help of if the for the two numbers for the multiplication of two numbers if it is true then I am giving you an exercise that for z1, z2 up to zn prove that argument of z1 into z2 up to zn equal to argument of z1 plus argument of z2 up to argument of zn. So by induction you can prove this. Now the next remark that we can make here is the principal argument of uh, z1 into z2 will not be equal to principal argument of z1 plus principal argument of z2. This is not true. Why? We can see by example. So in general for any z1 and z2 this will not, yeah for some z1 and z2 maybe this is true but not all. So for that I am taking as an example let us consider z1 as minus 1 and z2 will be i. So what will be the argument of z1? As you know the z1 is minus 1 let us look at where is the minus 1 is minus 1 is here because it is a positive negative real number. So the angle will be pi. So argument of z will be pi 1 is pi the principal argument of z2 as you know i is somewhere here so that is pi by 2 so that is the pi by 2 you will have so now if i find out what is z1 into z2 that is minus 1 into i so that will be minus i and you know minus i will be somewhere here so for that the angle is minus pi by 2 so the argument uh, sorry principal argument of uh, z1 into z2 will be minus pi by 2 
but what you have is the argument of uh, z1 principal argument of z1 plus principal argument of z2 will be pi plus pi by 2 that is the 3 pi by 2 so this value is not equal to this so and this principal arguments are unique values so that's why we can say that principal argument of z1 into z2 is not equal to principal argument of z1 plus principal argument of z2 for in general any z1 and z2 this is not true so but yeah for the in general argument they are true one more remark that we can write here what is the polar form of i if you can have i then you know that i will be here so the theta is pi by 2 and the r is 1 so that we can write as 1 into cos pi by 2 plus i sin pi by 2 that we can write so what is if i have consider z is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta so if i have z is this so what is iz so iz if so that means i need to multiply this complex number with this one so i have to multiply one with r so that will be gives me r so this will gives me cos theta into cos pi by 2 so we'll have cos theta plus pi by 2 that you can see that i square when you multiply with that it is i square i square will become minus 1 sin theta into cos pi by 2 so it is cos theta into cos pi by 2 minus i sin theta into sin pi by 2 that is cos theta plus pi by 2 plus i sin theta plus pi by 2 that you can check by yourself that we can have suppose this will be your z this vector then iz geometrically iz is this vector so this will be this vector this is iz and this angle is increased by pi by 2 so if this is theta then this will be theta plus pi by 2. so actually when you multiply a, a constant uh, number to z any uh, complex number z it will rotate with the same length whatever the length is there so since the uh, the mo modulus of this vector or this number is i is 1 so that's why it is with the same length otherwise it will change its length also and it's rotate also so it is expand or contract and also it is rotate the vector so that is the meaning of uh, multiplying a constant value with the z the another remark that we can make is if z is equal to r cos theta plus i sin theta what will be the z inverse z inverse is nothing but the 1 upon z that is 1 upon r into cos minus theta plus i sin minus theta that we can see by doing this that is z into z inverse if you can see that it is the multiplication of r with the 1 upon r that we know it is 1 and as we are doing the calculation it is theta minus theta plus i sin theta minus theta so that will gives me cos 0 plus i sin 0 and cos 0 will be 1 and i sin 0 will be 0 so that's why it is the inverse of sin complex number z in polar form so from this one more things we can write is if z1 upon z2 is there r1 cos theta 1 plus i sin theta 1 and if i write i z2 as cos theta plus i sin theta 2 then due to this z inverse i can write down what is the uh, z2 inverse of that so i can write as r1 upon r2 into cos theta 1 plus i sin theta 1 into cos minus of theta 2 plus i sin minus theta 2 and then you multiply this two so we'll have is r1 upon r2 cos 
theta 1 minus theta 2 plus i sin theta 1 minus theta 2. So from this what we can say is the argument of z1 upon z2 will be argument of z1 minus argument of z2 because what is theta 1 is the argument of z1 and theta 2 is the argument of z2. So the argument of z1 upon z2 will be this theta 1 minus theta 2 that we can write as so that is actually a co-sequence of the argument of z1 into z2 put argument of z1 plus argument of z2 that we have discussed earlier. Now we'll take two examples and then we'll finish this video. So uh, the example if it is given z1 into z2 is non-zero then prove that real part of z1 into z2 bar equal to mod z1 into mod z2 if and only if argument of z1 minus argument of z2 will be 2n pi where n belongs to z. So what is this geometrically represents? So what is this says the argument of z1 minus argument of z2 is 2n pi that is actually I can write as 0 plus 2n pi. So that means the difference between this two argument, this two complex numbers argument is zero. What does it mean? That means that the both numbers are stay on the same ray because if this is z1, this is z2, then and only then the argument of z1 minus z2 is zero plus two n pi. So this says that the both number lies along the same ray passes through origin in the complex plane if it is satisfying this condition okay let us now try to prove this so for that i am just considering r1 as r z1 as r1 into cos theta 1 plus i sin theta 1 and z2 will be r2 into cos theta 2 plus i sin theta 2 so z2 bar will have is r2 into cos theta 2 minus i sin theta 2. So what will be the z1 into z2 bar that is r1 into r2. You multiply this with this so that is cos theta 1 and i square away, so it will be plus so this is you have a minus theta 2 plus i sin theta 1 minus theta 2. that is the things you will have. I am starting with this side so it is real part of uh, z1 into z2 bar is equal to mode of z1 into mode of z2 that will double implies so what is the real part of z1 into z2 it is r1 r2 cos theta1 minus theta2 that is on the other side it is mode of z1 that is r1 and mode of z2 that will be r2. So you can just notice that this r1 r2 is cancelled out so you will have as cos theta 1 minus theta 2 will be 1 so that will gives you theta 1 minus theta 2 will be 2 n pi where n belongs to z so that proves that the the argument of z1 minus argument of z2 is 2 n pi where n belongs to z. So that also proves that the two complex numbers satisfying this condition lying on the same line or same ray passes through origin. Second example that we can write here is if same z1 into z2 is non-zero then prove that z1 minus z2 mode of z1 minus z2 equal to mod z1 plus mod z2 double implies argument of z1 minus argument of z2 equal to 2n plus 1 pi where n belongs to z. So what is the 2n plus 1 pi? It is pi plus 2n pi. So what is the geometrically this will means that um, if you have this is z1 
and the angle between the z1 and z2 is pi plus so the difference of this angle is a uh, pi plus 2 and pi that means they are at 180 degrees so that means they are on the same ray but it is an opposite direction so if on this side if it is z1 is there then the other side will be z2 so that's why the difference is pi plus 2 and pi so 180 plus 2 and pi if it is satisfying this condition we'll start with this side and let us try to see what we have so that we can write as by making a square both side we can write as this and by using the property that modulus of z bar is z into z bar so that is we can write z1 minus z2 into z1 minus z2 bar equal to I'm making a square on this this side z1 square plus 2 times mode of z1 plus into mode z2 plus z2 square and z1 minus z2 bar will write as z1 bar minus z2 bar and then multiplying the two brackets what we'll have is z1 into z1 bar minus z1 into z2 bar minus z2 into z1 bar plus z2 into z2 bar that is mode of z1 square plus 2 times mode of z1 mode z2 plus z2 bar square again using this uh, property the z1 into z1 bar is mode of z1 square that will cancel with this mode of z1 square and this will be cancelled with the mode of z2 square so you'll have is minus of z1 into z2 bar with minus of z1 into z2 bar whole bar equal to 2 times z1 mode of z1 into mode of z2 now why we can see that let us see here so you know that the real part of uh, z will be z plus z bar by 2 that i am going to use here but before that why this quantity will be this that is c so it is z1 into z2 bar whole bar is there so that by we can write as z1 bar into z2 bar bar so conjugate of a conjugate is same and using the commutative law we can write it is z2 into z1 bar so due to that we can have this quantity and using this we can rewrite this is as 2 times the real part of z into z1 into z2 bar equal to 2 times minus of 2 times z1 mode of z1 into mode of z2 this 2 will cancel out here and real part of z1 minus z2 we already discussed above so it is minus of r1 into r2 cos theta1 minus theta2 equal to r1 into r2 that this quantity we already calculated here that is the real part of uh, z1 into z2 is r1 into r2 into cos theta minus theta2 and so you can have cos r1 minus r2 is cancel out that will give theta 1 minus theta 2 will be minus 1 so that's why this will gives me theta 1 minus theta 2 is pi plus 2 and pi where n belongs to z so that will gives me z1 minus argument of z2 will be pi plus 2 and pi where n belongs to z so with this I'm making one more uh, interesting results and saying that uh, what the two example we have discussed in the first one we have seen that the real part of z1 into z2 if it is mode z1 into mode z2 this is actually saying that z1 upon z2 is a positive real number and second one is we have seen that mode of z1 minus z2 is mode z1 plus mode z2 is also equivalent to saying that z1 upon z2 is a negative real number so that means due to this first uh, we have proved that 
if it is satisfying this condition which is equivalent to if it z1 upon z2 is real number then the z1 and z2 are lies on the same ray passes through origin and for this also we say that if this condition which is equivalent to saying that z1 upon z2 is negative which says that the z1 and z2 are lies in the same ray passes through origin but it is in opposite direction so that's it so let us recall what we did in this lecture so we have uh, discussed about the polar form of a complex number so you can write your com any complex number non zero complex number as x plus i y you can write as a r cos theta plus i sin theta um, there where r is called the modulus and theta it's called the amplitude or argument that argument is the multi valued function it will take many value but there are principal argument is there which is denoted as principal a r g of where a is capital and it is always lies in the minus pi to plus pi and we also seen that how to calculate the principal argument and the argument of a complex number we have seen some examples some properties of uh, uh, this polar forms and thank you thank you for uh, uh, listening me if you like this video please like and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and please comment your questions into comment box if if you need any help to understand this topics thank you sayonara bye bye